Hey guys, and in today's video, we are going to be making some slime with this awesome Nickelodeon slime, um, crazy art brand, well it's a crazy art brand, but it's Nickelodeon, and it's a huge slime unboxing kit, and you get, you can make 60 boxes of slime with this, so we're going to be making, I think I'm going to make some foam, we're going to make some foam, so for foam, I'm going to use these, so they're paints, obviously paint. And I'm gonna use these mini beads that they came with. Okay. Um, I'm going to be using some activator. Obviously, you need activator. Okay, let me kind of organize this a little bit. So paint. Um, I will just put it like this. Paint foam beads and then I'm going to use some white glue actually today so I've never tried white glue time with the Nickelodeon ones because I've had some Nickelodeon ones before and I didn't get white glue I just got clear glue I'm going to be using one of the bowls that they have provided I'm going to be using a container that they've provided and I'm also going to be using a, I think I'm actually going to use a popsicle stick for this, I'm going to use the popsicle stick. So, that is what I'm going to be making, um, or using I guess, and I actually have to get water for this as well, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my water, and I'm pretty sure the instructions say to use, like, warm water. Let me see here. Um, they do say, they say room temperature, um, I guess I warmed it up a little bit, so, um, I warmed it up, okay, I don't, I don't think it'll matter that much, but if it does, then I guess I'll just retry, but now we're going to get started in making the slime. One thing I actually forgot is that they do give you two measuring cups in this kit, so I'm going to be using these two measuring cups, two, one for activator and one for glue, and this one is probably for water as well. So, yeah. So, you have to get 15 milliliters of white glue, and that's what I have here, so I'm just going to dump that in. So, now I've added my glue in, now time to add in the water. So, now I've added in 30 um, milliliters of water, so now I'm just going to stir so once I have this stirred, it kind of has like a white, watery texture. It's really super, super watery, but it's definitely like a white water. So it's a little bit thicker than water, but it's white. So that's what it should look like. So now we have to just add in the activator. Before I forget, I have to add in the paint before the activator. Or else that would not turn out quite well. So we're going to add in the paint. And I think it's going to be a foam, and I kind of want to save the best colors for last so I think I'm gonna go with like a yellow and orange not saying that yellow and orange are the worst but I'm just saying oh, um like I want to do pink and think these for like some sort of mermaid or maybe unicorn slime so I'm probably I'm gonna do orange and yellow or this lime color guys I think I'm actually gonna do a lime um phloem. so we're gonna do a lime phloem. oh and I don't think I mentioned this, but these um, paints are actually scented, so that's pretty cool. So this lime paint kind of has like a... Oh, sorry. Um, so this is the lime paint right here, and it kind of has like a lime scent. But also, like I'm getting... I don't know why, but I'm like getting scents of like Play-Doh or something. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of smells interesting, but either way, let's mix it in. So, I've mixed this in, and once you mix it in, it's kind of got less of a limey color, but it still looks pretty, um, looks pretty, and it still smells pretty nice. So, oh, I fit, I, okay, guys, I know what I was trying to think of now, it's kind of smells like green apple. That's what it is. Guys, I don't know why I couldn't think of what that was, but it's green apple scented, not lime scented, and it actually kind of looks like a green apple, which is kind of cute. But it's definitely green apple scented, and I don't know why I said lime, but it's green apple. So now let's add in the activator. So I have the, um, the five milliliters of activator, and I'm going to go ahead and add that in. So now that I've added that in, let's stir it and see if this activates. 
Okay, it's already activating in the middle, but I need to, like, distribute it throughout the whole thing. So, I'll get back to you guys when it is activated. So, I've activated this, and it looks super nice. Guys, I promise you, you don't need to activate it anymore. Um, it is literally fine. Like, it's amazing. I actually like it. It's pretty. It's like a jiggly, because I think you added the water. It's pretty jiggly. So, then it should. It's kind of sticky, but that's good because it should hold hold the phloem bead the phloem beads sorry i'm having trouble with my words um it should hold the phloem beads very nicely so now we're going to add in the phloem beads and i don't know how much i'm going to add in i'm just going to add in a little bit at a time um this slime should hold these beads very nicely because of it's a little sticky so it should hold, oh my gosh, it feels amazing. Um, it should hold them very nicely. It feels so good. Um, hopefully this turns out well. It feels amazing, guys. Um, you need to try this. Like, what? I don't understand. Like, this is literally amazing. Um, okay. I think I'm going to add in a little bit more because it's not really having any fallout, which is very excellent. Um, so I'm just going to like see here. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It's such a nice texture. Like, it's like a goopy, like it feels like liquid, but like it doesn't like stay in your hands or anything. Once you add in the flown beans, it feels amazing. And I think I'm going to add in a little bit more beads. I think I might add in a little bit more beads. Um, let's see here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Look at that. I like this texture. Um, it's a very... Like, listen to this. It's very goopy. But I like it like that. Like, um, very nice. And if you guys don't like really goopy textures, like really, um, jiggly slimes, I would suggest that you don't buy these, um, slime kits because they suggest that you put water in them. So I think it's amazing. Like, look at this. Please, um, tell me what you guys think. And I think I'm just going to add a couple more foam beads. Um, let's just add a little bit more. Just going to add that much more. I think it goes. These are nice beads in this container. Like, this container is actually these, like, the bag that the foam beads came in. It's holding them very nicely. But I'm going to mix these foam beads in. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at this. Oh, my God. I love this so much. I love it. Um, let's just like try and get as much off the sides as I can. Um, these are obviously disposable bowls, so you can't reuse them. I was going to get a new bowl anyways, but like, oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, it's like getting stretchier. Look at this. It's really nice. It feels nice with the foam beads. And when you squish it, the foam beads don't come out. Even though it feels like they're going to come out. I promise you. Well, maybe not promise. Because they might. But, like, it's not coming out. The foam beads are staying in there. They're not moving. Like, that's amazing. I think this is an amazing slime. And I'm going to put it in this package. And then I'm going to put it away. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, see you in next video. Bye!